Okay, I'm going to talk to you guys about a concept called cutting to the beat, where you have your video match up with the beat of the music. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to start by finding a song that I want to use. And I'm actually going to use this site I found, uh, freestockmusic.com. Um, they have free MP3 files you can download. And I found one I want to use here. It's called Embrace by Purple Cat. Now, when you do the download, when you find a song you like, you know, you can sample it by playing it, is you just click on the free download right here. Don't go over here to this one because this opens up a whole other can of worms that you don't need to get involved in. Just click on free download, and then you're going to download it into your download folder, okay? Then you're going to create a new project in Adobe Premiere, and I have one here I just opened up. And make sure that you uh, create a folder on your desktop. Save your project inside there. I've already actually done that. I've saved it. I made a folder called Cutting to the Beat on my desktop. I'm naming it the same thing. And just keep yourself organized that way. Okay, so now I'm going to import the song. So I go to File and go to Import. And um, you should really put the song inside that same folder. Keep it all together. I just have mine in the download folder, but uh, it's better to keep that in the actual folder of the project, but it doesn't totally matter that much. So I'm going to import the song. Okay, so here it is, and you can see it's an MP3 song, and I'm just going to drag it over here and look at it. Now, what we're going to do is look at the wavelength here, and so we can estimate exactly where the beats are. Now, it really helps a lot to make this bigger. So I'm going to click here on the little line in between A1 and A2. That's audio track 1 and 2. I'm going to make it thicker just so you can see it better, okay? And I'm also going to zoom around a little bit here so you can see better. You know, if you pull the slider, you can zoom out. Um, it's hard to cut to the beat if it's all compact like that. You can't really see everything. But if you zoom in on it, you can really start to see the wave pattern. And that makes it just a lot easier. Now, let me play this for you, and you can watch the wave pattern. You'll see what's happening here. Now, you'll notice that the wave pattern gets bigger as it gets louder, right? I can zoom in even a little bit more here. And so this makes it pretty easy to see like, how the song is structured. Now, the way this works is we're going to insert what we call markers. It's really easy to do. Just use the letter M. It creates a little marker, and that's going to make a little point in your timeline that you can use to line up your video with. So watch this. I'm going to hit play, and I'm just going to put two markers in, and I'm going to do it like this. Right there. See how I did that? I inserted these three markers right there. You can see the little green tabs. Now this is really useful because now I can actually jump right to those. So the way this works is if you hold down the shift key and hit M, it'll jump right to the marker. I just keep jumping from one marker to the next. And then when I have my video in place, my pictures or whatever, I can line them up with these markers. Now, there's some useful things up here in markers where you can look here. You can see where it says add marker. It's just M. Go to next marker, shift M. Sometimes it's useful to clear the markers. Like if you make a mistake, you can just clear them. You can also um, just edit the markers, mess with them, and so forth. This makes it super, super easy. So at this stage, all I've done is I've got my song ready to go. I put some markers in. Um, some people put a lot of markers in. I'm just doing this three of them here so you can get the idea. And then I will show you in the next video how to actually place your clips so that they line up with these markers, right? That's how it works so far.